Got to get this. I've just um, been. There's a the moon simulator. See that face? I look at these faces that have rolled in past. Now I'm telling you now, I've just been trying to focus with my um, zoom camera. And it's just uh, struggling. But the battery ran out and I've just had to uh, stick on charge. But have a look what's going on here. Now, it's like it's something either in front of the moon or it's going behind. But it, the way it's being projected. Um, like the moonlight is just being directly projected onto this sort of cloud movement, but it looks like um, there's a solid object behind, behind it all. Can you see what I'm talking about? Like saying shapes, can you see that there? That looks solid. You can actually see that looks like a rocky body, something moving behind the moon, or it's something moving in front of the moon, and they have technology to project. But see that? That's a rocky object. Did you see that? I mean, I can see that clear as a bell. This is through my mobile phone, so um, I mean, I know what I just—I know what I just saw. I've captured this. Uh, that seems like a big rocky body that spins, and it has faces and stuff like that. That's what it appears to be anyway. I mean, like I say, appearances can be deceptive, can't they? But um, it just seems to me that sometimes some, um, something almost seems alive or something, I can't, like a carousel of faces that will move behind the moon but like I say when I've been trying to focus in on my on my high powered camera it's just um, really struggling it's just like a big blur like so they are trying to obscure but you can just see by the moon um, doesn't project light like that there's a lens system in place See, look. You know, I'm going to get this uploaded and uh, see what's what in a bit when I um, get some charge on my Zoom, on my Zoom camera. Anyway, God bless.